Today I want to talk to you about the newest range of Longchamp bags that were re very recently launched and I would love to hear your thoughts and have a little bit of a discussion about it. Hello, 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 and a very warm welcome to today's video. For those of you that haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those that have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't done so and turning on the notification bell so you're notified as and when I post. I talk about a range of topics, um, including fashion, but also some more personal topics. I also discuss more of that over on my Instagram, so go and follow me there if that's of interest to you. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, just celebrating who you are, and um, yeah, loving yourself. Anyway, let's talk about one of my absolute favourite brands that is a very prominent feature on my channel, and that is Longchamp. And Longchamp recently, just yesterday, released a new range of bags and these were very much with the focus on sustainability with Longchamp going green and it is focused on their Le Pliage range. Now the Le Pliage range was introduced in 1993 and has really developed a kind of cult following. I guess it has a lot of celebrity purchases but I think whether Le Pliage has created a great fan base is the fact that they are good quality, sophisticated bags at a very reasonable price point. They're also very durable, very easy to use, carefree luxury. And I think that's very much what um, Longchamp stand for. Now, I'm sure there will be debate as to whether Longchamp sits within the luxury category. I personally think it probably does. It's not quite, you know, it's not Chanel, it's not Fendi, but it's a beautifully crafted French um, design house. So I'm a huge fan and I would personally put them within that category. Now, they have released this new range, which is very much focusing on sustainability. And I believe that I was reading yesterday and I think the source was Hype Bay, I will link it below. Um, but it was saying that this new range of bags and the material that they are using reduces the carbon footprint of the bag by about 20%. And what they've done really well is that there's clearly no, there's no change to the bag itself. It looks the same. But what they've done in a really nice way is they've brought out a new range of colors and they've created some subtle hints to the fact that it is going green and it's a nod to that focus of the brand. I'm sorry if I'm playing with my hair. It's like a million degrees in here. It's very warm in the UK at the moment. Yes, so they've, so they've got that subtle nod. Now, in terms of the bag itself, they seem to have brought it out across the Le Pliage range, which I think is great. I saw it in shoulder bags, I saw it in travel bags, I saw it in top handles. I believe that there are also backpacks. I will double check that, but I believe that there were. I think they've done it across the whole range. And they have brought it out in a range of sizes um, and also a new colour range as well, which I absolutely love. Now, from what I could see, and I was looking at the top handles, granted, more than anything else, um, but I saw four key colours that they've brought this out in and there is a white, there is a teal, which I believe is called ocean, there is a red and there is a khaki and I happen to be particularly drawn to the white and to the ocean colour. I really like the khaki for a kind of a unisex, you know, slightly edgier vibe. That's just not a personal style that I have. Red, it's a nice shade, but red isn't a colour that I naturally gravitate towards. However, the white and the ocean, absolutely love them both. The one that I would particularly be focusing on for myself would be the ocean. I've been looking for a long shot bag in blue for quite a long time. I have the document holder in blue, but I don't use that very much. I want one that I'm actually going to use. Um, I went and saw the cobalt, which didn't grab me. I bought my mum the cloud blue, which was beautiful, but we sh probably shouldn't have the same bag. Um, and then there was a, there's the navy, which is one of their standard colours that I think season after season is always in the range. I've seen a lot of people with that bag. It's not my favourite. And also you can only get that in the classic um, Le Pliage, which again, isn't my favourite. I much prefer the club, which has the continuation of the nylon and leather colour across the whole bag. Now, I also believe that this is a really 
reasonable price point, considering the fact that they're focusing on more sustainable materials, like I said, it's sort of that 20% nod, um, and I believe it's around five or ten pounds, depends on the item of course, but I think it's a, a around a five percent price increase um, based on the non-green version of the bag. It's kind of hard to describe how, which one it is, uh, but the non-green version of the bag. And I actually think that's really, really reasonable. Um, and it doesn't seem to have compromised. I will be really interested to go and see the bag when I'm next in London. I will go to Longchamp on Regent Street and I will go and check it out because I buy a lot of these online. I buy them from the store and get them shipped to me. I just call the sales associates there. However, I want to feel the material and get a real sense as to whether or not it will work for me. I think it will, but I'm quite curious. So I'm not going to buy one until I've seen it, but absolutely when I go there, it will be with every intention of picking up a medium top handle in the ocean color. And I think the range, it's not club, it's not the kind of classic, it's, I think it's called green. I think that's the range that it sits within. And like I said, it's a reasonable price point. What I also really love is the subtle nod to the green element. It's the fact that it has some green piping around the sides of the bag. Um, this beautiful, beautiful neon green. I absolutely love lime neon green as a colour. I kind of wish they brought the bag out in that. And I know I have that limey um, travel bag, but that's just so washed out. That's not, that's not a vibe. Um, not a vibe that I'm going with at least. Um, but if they had it in a really bright, vibrant green, like my, um, I have a pair of bright green stilettos that are just like, boom. if they had it in that colour, that would be fabulous. But I absolutely love this. And I love the fact that uh, the brand is continuing to focus on their own sustainability, their carbon footprint. And of course it helps you as a consumer to also consider your own carbon footprint. And if the if this particular range isn't for you, there are other options. So the My Pliage range, that's also um, developed with a focus on sustainable materials. So I believe it's recycled bottles that they make those bags out of, or a couple of other materials perhaps but I think a significant amount of them as recycled bottles, plastic bottles. Um, so that's really interesting. And the My Pliage range is great because it means that you can customize the bag. So if you want something that's a little bit niche or a little bit more geared towards your personal taste, you can absolutely do that. I myself have been thinking about a My Pliage for a little while. And the reason being, I have probably, you know, 12 or so Longchamp bags, none of which are custom. I'm kind of in a place where I think maybe a custom one could do well for me. We'll see. I don't know. I'll think about it. But I think that could be really nice. They also do some nice like neon colours. I think I would really love a black one with like a neon trim. Maybe like a neon green trim with a bright pink logo or something. That would be fun. We'll see. I'll, I'll go in and have a chat with the, with the team at Regent Street when I'm next in London. Um, but I think that that's a really nice option as well for anyone who's thinking of of um, buying a long shot bag but wants something slightly more customizable. Now, of course, you do pay slightly more for that, but again, it's not unreasonable. It's not unreasonable. Um, and these are such a reasonable price point to begin with that any any adjustment that they make, it might seem quite large percentage-wise, but actually, in terms of pound notes, it's not huge, or dollar bills, wherever you may be watching this from. It's, it's not actually huge sums of money that they're adjusting the prices by. So I think it's a really great step forward for the brand. I myself will be looking at them. I do think about sustainability when I'm buying products. So as you probably know, I buy quite a, quite a lot of my items pre-loved. So for example, my Mulberry Bays water, I bought this pre-loved from Luxury Promise. No regrets doing so. It was in great condition and I'm absolutely loving this. I have no, I have no issues with buying a bag pre-loved. All of my Kurt Geiger bags were purchased pre-loved. Again, excellent condition as described, no issues, and I saved myself a pretty penny by buying them pre-loved. So just something to think about. I would really love to hear your thoughts. So what do you think about this collection? What are some of the brands that you focus on and buy from, maybe because of the way that they handle topics such as sustainability? Do you buy items pre-loved? And is that, is that a financial reason? Is that because you're considering the impact of, uh, of your purchases? What is it? For me, it's a balance of both. If I'm buying something pre-loved, it's because I'm getting myself a sweet deal, plus I'm also not buying something brand new and bringing something back into the kind of ecosystem. Um, but let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear. 
and let me know if there are any bags from this collection that you're particularly thinking about. Anyway, thank you so much as always for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys.